All right, guys, we have just made it to Continent Key. Nothing but bay boats out here. Got one big boat out there, but look how freaking beautiful it is. Got some people out there exploring, having a good time. Got some other people chilling out in the water. We saw a big tarpon on the way in. Maybe do a little bit of fishing just right off here off the back of the boat. Maybe even grab a tarpon or something. But um, one thing I think we're definitely gonna have to do, we're definitely gonna have to watch these tides here because i think the tide is starting to go out definitely don't want to spend the night out here she you want to spend the night out here <laughs> i know but uh we're gonna go exploring a little bit and drink a beer and walk out here on the sand and see what it's about look at this guys this is pretty freaking cool Absolutely gorgeous. Hey, wait up for me. <laughs> wait up for me. You like sink. You do sink in the sand. Oh my goodness, look how much she sunk in. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You can definitely tell that the, I think the tide is coming out. We need to watch it. It'd be a pretty place to be stuck, but don't I'll want to be stuck. Definitely be stuck in sand. Is that a sand dollar right there? What is that? No, just a shell. Yeah, those boats are just cruising in. They must have been here before. It just seemed like too, sh like, too shallow to like run in fast like that. Like too many like cliffs. Yeah, at the same time too. It's only gonna get shallower. It's as on. We leave. Yeah, as we leave. All right, guys. This looks like bonefish paradise. Only thing is, I didn't bring my fishing pole with us. So yeah, definitely, if you come to the Keys, this is probably the best sandbar the Keys has. It was a little bit of a run though. How long, I mean, it took us. I didn't watch the, I didn't watch the time. I think it took us almost 30 minutes to get here, 40 minutes to get here from Marathon. A straight shot was 25 miles. But you can't run straight shot. You got on my front. You got to run to buy a Honda, follow the channel all the way out, uh, just because there's so many little islands and sandbars like this. Uh, this is by far the biggest and the prettiest one we've seen. So definitely don't recommend trying to take the shortcut. Probably end up being with that detour, probably around extra 30 miles. Not 30 miles, but a total of 30 miles, extra five miles. Oh, there's a stingray. There he goes. These are uh, these are not used to being fed, like in the Bahamas. Let's keep walking. I just like walking. Well, this is um, definitely the sandbar we wanted to find. You know. All right, guys, we're just gonna walk around, explore a little bit, and um, we'll turn on the camera if we find anything pretty cool. I mean, if you had a skimboard right now, <laughs> you could go for like miles. Or one of those little kite surfing boards. Kite surf. It's just awesome how it's like ankle deep. Oh yeah. Like this whole way. All right guys, I'm sneaking up 
on this crane here. Beautiful white crane, look at him. I'm gonna see how close he'll let me get to him. Just not walking directly towards him, almost just walking parallel with them. Hopefully this doesn't spook them. Oh, and it spooked them. There he goes. I'm trying to get a good picture of him. Oh, shell. It's a pretty shell. It's a big snail. It's not even a hermit crab. Put him back in. Nope, he flew away. I don't think I'm going to catch him. Shannon's just soaking up the water. You ready to walk back to the boat, Shannon? Yeah. Let's get All right, guys. We're gonna head back to the boat, put the camera up, and enjoy this beautiful water here at Continent Key. Just sandbars for all you can see. Ankle deep water.